Age of Empires 4 is soon to be released and of course we've got lots of information about it, but I wanted to work on a short series about looking at the civilizations. Of course with Age of Empires, a lot of the gameplay is about the different bonuses that civilizations get. So I wanted to take a closer look at the civilizations that they've announced, and today we look at the Abbasid Dynasty. The Abbasid Dynasty is an adaptive civilization due to their ability to research unique upgrades at the House of Wisdom. These upgrades impact and alter core game elements and mechanics, providing a unique way to build your empire. In Age of Empires 4, the Abbasid Dynasty civilization spans the years 750 to 1517 CE and is based on the Abbasid Caliphate and the Mamluk Sultanate. The empire was born in modern-day Iraq, but after the Mongols destroyed its capital of Baghdad in 1258, the seat of power moved to Cairo. You will experience the Golden Age of Islam, playing the Abbasid Dynasty. This period saw flourishing technological innovations as the medieval world raced towards the modern era. The Abbasid Dynasty ruled the spiritual heart of the Islamic world for nearly 800 years, surviving civil wars, the Crusades, the Mongol invasion, relentless piracy and rebellions. Playing the Abbasid Dynasty the Abbasid Dynasty civilization is centered around their House of Wisdom, which provides unique upgrade opportunities and acts as a basis of their Golden Age mechanic. As buildings are constructed around the House of Wisdom, the tier of their Golden Age increases, bringing with it increases to gather, research and production rates. Unique to their civilization, the Abbasid Dynasty receive camel archers and camel riders which serve as a unique anti-cavalry cavalry units. The Abbasid dynasty's unique ability to construct landmarks and advance through the ages without needing to assign active villages enables the Abbasid dynasty to continue gathering resources, construct buildings or perform other tasks, allowing uninterrupted growth. We see something interesting with the Abbasid dynasty whereby buildings affect other buildings. In particular, the House of Wisdom will provide unique opportunities for upgrades. And buildings that are placed around it will cause their Golden Age tier to increase, bringing with it increases in gathering, research and production rates. We see a similar sort of game mechanic with other civilizations, whereby the French have the keep, and archery range and stables that are placed around the keep look like they will give cheaper units. Similarly, the Chinese have the Imperial Academy, and that's a landmark that influences nearby buildings, having them generate additional tax revenue. Also, we've touched upon some of the unique units for the Abbasid dynasty, which are the camel archers and the camel riders, which will be natural counters to cavalry units. Also, the Abbasid dynasty have the benefit of their landmarks not requiring villager time, so they can have the villagers focus on other tasks. There are two units for which we've been given information regarding the Abbasid dynasty. Camel archers, the Camel Archer is an anti-cavalry cavalry unit that reduces damage from nearby enemy cavalry units. Their expanded attack range and higher damage than average horse archers allows them to pick away at enemy cavalry from a safe distance. The Imam. The Imam is an inspirational community leader that can be created from the Abbasid's mosque building. Interestingly, it doesn't actually give us any more information about the Imam and what its function is. I guess we'll have to watch this space. It's worth noting as well that earlier it was mentioned, unique to their civilization, the Abbasid dynasty received camel archers and camel riders. And I think the key phrase here really is unique to their civilization. This gives us the impression that it's only the Abbasid dynasty that will receive the camel archers and camel riders. And this will make them a natural counter to civilizations who are perhaps focused on cavalry. Through the ages. In Age 1, the Abbasid Dynasty civilization start off with the House of Wisdom, offering several unique upgrades to alter their gameplay, economy, military and or trade. Unlike other civilizations, which need to construct landmarks to age up, the Abbasid must complete these upgrades, which can be done in any order. In Age 2, while the Abbasid Dynasty do not see a new landmark building constructed at the start of their second age, they instead gain access to camel archers, unique anti-cavalry ranged units. In Age 3, once again, the Abbasid dynasty forego a new landmark in their Third Age. 
this time gaining the Camel Rider, another of their unique anti-cavalry units. Upon reaching the fourth age, the Abbasid dynasty will have researched three of the four available wings. During this age, players can complete their final wing upgrade, reaching what might be seen as a form of fifth age. Let's also take a closer look at the House of Wisdom. The House of Wisdom is one of the key defining features of the Abbasid dynasty. This unique civilization specific structure provides access to many unique civilization upgrades and mechanics. In addition, players can further upgrade their House of Wisdom by researching and completing four different wings of knowledge. These can be completed in any order, providing access to additional upgrades, strengthening the House of Wisdom and aging up the civilization. The four different wings of knowledge are the Economic Wing, the Trade Wing, Military Wing and Culture Wing. So we see that the Abbasid dynasty get this very special landmark which allows them to customise their future growth of their civilization. It will be interesting to see what bonuses each wing gives you and how this can change a game in terms of what you'll choose for which scenario. So in summary, the Abbasid dynasty has a unique access to camel archers and camel riders. It has the landmark called the House of Wisdom which gives it four wings to research. The Abbasid dynasty relies on upgrades to age up rather than landmarks and they have the Imam as their unique unit. Landmarks are also constructed without villages. As we progress through looking through the different civilizations that have been announced in Age of Empires 4, they seem to be getting very very interesting. I really like the customizability of some of these civilizations as well as how a lot of them have particularly unique units about them. So guys, hope you enjoyed that video. If you're interested in other content that I've got, do check out the end cards. On the right, it will take you to playlists for the other civilizations. And on the left, it will take you to the video specifically on the Delhi Sultanate. Take care, guys, and see you on the next video.